In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve exponential equations where you are unable to match the bases. Sometime in the past, you probably learned about exponential equations and were given something that looked like 2 to the power of x is equal to 8 and you were asked to solve for x. Now, this was pretty simple. You knew that you just had to make the bases on both of the sides the same. So you made this in terms of base 2, so this is 2 to the third, and this was 2 to the power of x. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Now, while this seems all nice and easy, this isn't always true. You won't always be able to make the bases on both sides of your equation the same. So when you're going over your chapter of logarithms, you'll come across many examples, such as, let's say, 2 to the power of x is equal to 30, where we are unable to make the base on the left side of our equation and, our, and on the right side of our equation equivalent. So now the obvious question arises, how do we solve for x in this situation? As you probably already guessed, since this is the chapter on logarithms, we do this using logarithms. And if you remember what I said earlier about logarithms, is that logarithms take ugly and complicated arithmetic expressions and they make them more simple and easy to understand and solve. So by applying logarithms to this case or this equation, we will be able to solve for x much more easily. Looking back at our equation, we see that we have x up here in the power and essentially what we want to do is we want to remove x from the power. Now, if we remember when we deal with logarithms that log base a of x to the power of y is equal to y times log base a of x. So we want to utilize this law over here in order to simplify our equation and find our value of x. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take the logarithms of both sides. And since LG is a pretty standard logarithm, so log base 10, we will just use LG. So we'll take LG of 2 to the x, and this is equal to LG of 30. And we do the same thing on both sides, so our equation remains the same. And now we apply the power rule that we wrote down on the right. So we can bring the x over here. So we get x times lg of 2 is equal to lg of 30. So we want to get x alone, and to do that we divide both sides by lg of 2. So we get x is equal to lg of 30 divided by lg of 2. And now all we need to do is just plug this into our calculator because we're allowed to just plug in LG of a number into our calculator. So let's say we have LG of 30. Forgive me because this calculator is very odd. So log of 30 and this divided by log of 2. So we have our equation up here and this is equal to 4.906 nine zero six and we round off to the nearest two decimal places which gives us four point nine one so x is equal to four point nine one that seems pretty straightforward i'm going to go over another example just to clarify this concept so let's say in this case that we have three to the power of three x plus 2 is equal to 20. And once again, we have to solve for x. Now, as you can see here, we can't make both of these sides to be, we can't make both of these sides have the same base. So we want to, once again, use logarithms. And if you remember what we did last time is we took LG of both sides. So let's say that we take LG of three to the power of three X plus two. And then to keep both sides 
equal, we write this is equal to LG of 20. And remember, we don't want to have x in our power over here because we don't know how to solve for that without removing it from the power. So we want to use the power law to bring this expression down here. So we get 3x plus 2 times LG of 3 of 3 is equal to LG of 20. Now we want to get x all alone, so we can say LG of 20 divided by LG of 3 is equal to 3x 3x plus 2 you can say 2 away so let's say 3x is equal to LG of 20 over LG of 3 minus 2 because we're trying to get x alone here so we can pull this up in our calculator let's write log of 20 so log of 20 divided by log of 3 this is equal to 2.72 minus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 0.7 so 3x is equal to 0 0.7 what was that again 0 0.72683 and then x is equal to 0 0.72 six eight three divided by three and from this we get let's see this number divided by three is equal to zero point two four two two four two four two yeah straight x is equal to zero point two four two and once again we round to the nearest two decimal places so we get x is equal to zero point two four so let's look back at what we did. So we didn't know how to solve this equation initially because we were not able to get both sides to have the same base. In order to make this equation easier to solve, we used logarithms and we randomly chose to take the logarithm or we randomly chose to take LG on both sides. So LG of three to the power of three X plus two is equal to LG of 20. And then we use the power rule over here to bring this down. So we get 3x plus 2 times LG of 3 is equal to LG of 20. And from there, we solved for our value of x. Now, one thing that... Now, it's important to note over here that LG, our choice to take LG, was just an arbitrary choice. We choose LG because it's one of the most standard... It's one of the most standard versions of logarithms. We could have just as easily chosen LN. So in this case, we would have gotten ln of 3 to the power of 3x plus 2 is equal to ln of 20. And we would have solved it the same way, eventually getting 3x plus so like dot, 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 dot. 3x plus 2 is equal to ln of 20 over ln of 3. And we would have ended up getting that x is equal to that's wrong. We would have ended up getting x is equal to 0 0.24 once again. And when we're solving these equations, we usually just choose ln or lg, and that's because we have buttons for them on our calculator and it just makes life much easier.